checking the mic. Check, check the mic. Checking the mic. The mic sounds good. So good evening and welcome to the sixth episode of my first ever playthrough of uh, Stellaris. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump back into it. So I am probably, I think I'm maybe like about a third through this game playthrough. You can see where I've explored, and I can see a few of my enemies, but there's a ton of the galaxy I have not yet explored. And um, yeah, I am just rolling through. Colony established. Definitely not a good player by any means, but I am uh, I'm working through it. I think I'm getting the hang of it. And, um, I just finished a new, uh, new colony at Alpha Centauri. So I need to assign some districts. That would be the first logical step. Kind of picking those at random, but um, you System know, survey complete. can't hurt, I guess. Mm -hmm. Got another system surveyed. I am definitely going to want to go ahead and settle that system and build as much as I can here. That was Alpha. So yeah, just uh, just to kind of jog my own memory, my plan was basically I was looking at this area to expand this way until I realized there's really no good choke points around here. Um, and then I realized this Yax Civ is a fallen empire, which means, I think, even though it's like incredibly far stronger than me, um, it means they're not expanding anymore. So I realized that if I could take this, um, if you're a, I could block off the S. Chagon there, and then, unfortunately, they they managed to get Rigen before I could get to it. That would have been a really nice one to have. Um, but I got them blocked there, and they can't get over here, and so, and they obviously nobody's going to get through the Yaks. So I realized I had all this area that I could have to myself completely protected um, by these two stations. So basically right now I'm just trying to build out this whole big area and that'll give me kind of a clump right here. Um, Erzgoba might move into this area by then but I may be able to take at least a few of these. Um, definitely I would say one, two, three, and four right here. So that would leave me a, a choke point here. Um, so it it would make it a little hard, a little harder to defend, but not that much harder. So yeah, that is kind of my general plan. Um, glancing at my planets, everything looks good. Construction ships are waiting for that starbase to be constructed, and um, yeah, everything looks good there. My factions are. Okay with me? Complete. Um, all of my resources are looking okay. My empire sprawl is within tolerance, and my naval capacity is within tolerance, so I'm really looking pretty good right now. Um, so I'm kind of speeding up the game just to keep things moving along until something happens. Special project complete. Okay, so... Uh, 
Uh, let me read this. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millen millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, the drones possess powerful mining... Oh, uh, that's a comma. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, period. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures toward human vessels when approached. They may be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by us. Uh, okay. I will study those, I guess. Um, let's see, this star base was completed, so I can go ahead and build out the system. Not a whole lot to build, just that one, just that one mine, but next will be this system, so I can go ahead and um, I can at least move all of these. Hmm, I don't know how to like, how do I deselect? Shift click? No. I don't know. I want to just like deselect one of them. Oh, here's what I can do. Hold up. Shift click like that. Brilliant. And move all of them to the Omega system. Okay, so let me look at this drone study. Ah, so that's going to delay some research, but I'm kind of trying to hit all this research stuff hard, or all of the uh, situation log things hard, just because I know that that, um, from time to time, will unlock different technologies. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the Ox Bravi Divine State. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on communications of another empire we are in contact with. Okay, so that's probably... there they are. And um, surely they were listening in on the Urzgoba who have a sensor uplink with us. And here they are. Let's see uh, what they are. Authoritarian. Um, Okay. Yeah, they don't don't seem too bad to me. Let's see how strong they are. Equivalent. Uh, they have a police state. Okay, so they are extremely authoritarian and spiritual. So they are uh, they're not going to be a great uh, great match for us diplomatically speaking. Probably will not let them into our federation once I found one. Construction complete. Okay, that construction is done, so this construction ship can move out. Anomaly found. Um, I discovered an anomaly at Omegas. I think what I want to do there... This science ship is just sitting there, apparently. Great. So I think what I want to do with it is move to there, then move to there, just so I can at least explore those two, and then come back and survey that, 
Meanwhile, I think with this, I will go ahead and um, explore that anomaly. Let's see what I can get here. Specific combat roles to shipboard computers. I don't know what that does at all. Better boosters, so faster ships. I think I'm going to go for stronger weapons on that. And here's that anomaly, so I'll go ahead and research it. Uh, RX 580 RAM. Yeah, I actually noticed it was like totally messed up. Here, let me let me just go mess with that right now. And I'll turn on my chat box down here. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, I need to actually like how do you even I don't even know how to edit that stuff. I need to like build out my profile a little better. I just haven't. Um, setting. Here it is. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I swear it looked fine when I did it. Here. It's like all my enters got deleted. See if that looks better. Hmm. I think it's just like deleting the like paragraph breaks. Yeah, it sure is. That is unfortunate. Hold up, let me try that again. Yeah, it just does not want to do that. I don't want to do that. Whoa. So, yes, I will add spaces. Okay, so that's weird. Like, I put in five spaces between everything, and now it still just looks like a string of text. That's kind of annoying. Um, but either way, I think there's actually, like... I think there's supposed to be, like, a separate section for that somewhere. Or, like, I know what it is. I've seen people who, like... They link you out to, like, a different website that has, like, a breakdown of their specs with like links to um, where you can like buy the same stuff uh, yeah let me let me look at yours Ah, yes, that... Oh, yeah, I... Yeah. This is exactly what I need to do. How did you actually do that, though? I don't... Huh.
yeah, clearly there is something you can do that I just totally have not done. But yeah, I would totally like to set mine up how, um, how you have it at some point. Okay, I am going to get back to the game here. Did you ever play this, Stellaris? Yeah, I, okay, so I gotta, I'm just gonna ramble about this for a second. I am, like, insanely impressed with both this game and um, City Skylines, and they're both made by Paradox, and so I think they might just be, like, a really, really good developer. Um, this game is, like, everything I love about Civ, plus everything I love about, like, space and sci-fi and that kind of thing. So it's like really right up my alley. Um, and then City Skylines is just, honestly, it's like one of the most incredible games I've ever seen. Like it is so amazing. The way the like terrain is like all meshed out and all the water like moves. Um, and it's just so versatile as far as like building road networks and all that kind of thing. And it's just super fun to play. Like, sometimes in, like, SimCity, um, the original ones, it got to the point where you felt like you were just kind of, like, grinding on something forever. But City Skylines, you can kind of, like, take a break and just build stuff for fun if you want. And, like, not have to, you know, obsess over making everything perfect and optimized and that kind of thing. So... Point being, I I think Paradox, or what is it? Yeah, Paradox, right? Just totally spaced on what, what the developer's called. Paradox? Is that right? Yeah, Paradox. I think Paradox might just be a really good game developer. You could call me a fan. The structures of Omega Illa are not as old as we first believed seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Ellen Fleming notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that, to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Uh, okay. That's cool, I guess. I don't really understand the point of some of those, like, random things in this game. Like, they don't really seem to do anything. An alien empire has established communications. Oh, Commonwealth of Man. Is that gonna be... Hey, it's more humans! It's the only other humans in the galaxy that I'm aware of. Let's see. Oh god, they're fanatic militarists. And they're xenophobes. Great. They are the opposite of us. Uh, where... Oh, there they are. Oh, man. They have a menacing red eagle for their emblem. And they speak German? Sounds kind of Germany. Uh, nationalistic zeal, 
Distinguished Admiralty. Yeah, this is um, this is not going to be a friend of ours, that's for sure. Good thing they are way, way, way weaker than us. Which makes me a little bit inclined to try to invade them later on. And they closed borders with us. How friendly of them. In which case, I will close borders with them. Okay, so my planets are looking good, um, all that's looking good, can't really afford to get any more ships right now. Let me just make sure I'm still equivalent to the S. Jagan, and I am. Construction ships are waiting to build out Omegas once it's done surveying, and that is all good. We have found an anomaly. From time to time, our science ships will make these discoveries while surveying alien worlds. Anomalies can be researched by a scientist if their skills are up to the task. I am aware of how anomalies work. Uh, where is it though? Why, where did my... It says no entries, okay. Where did it go? It just disappeared. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Research complete. Research? Oh, oops, excuse me. Complete. Yeah, farms. That's never a bad thing. Um, I think I might actually have the deep sinkhole blocker on one of my planets. Um, additional edicts. Yeah, let me do that. Omegas is getting close. System survey complete. Perfect. Okay, so there's an anomaly in Omegas, which I definitely do want to research. I will get into there. Establish my starbase. And then I'll have to wait. Meanwhile, this science ship's orders were cancelled, so it can go ahead and research, or survey, I should say, that system. And then that one. And then that one. And that one. And that one. I'm going to basically get all the star systems closest to these yaks just so um, so I can block them in. I don't think they're still spreading, but they might be. Okay, construction ships are waiting. Planets look fine. Everything's good. 
System survey complete. Social experiment. A small aerost oh aerostat. Cool. That's a cool word. I've never heard that word before. Aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Omegas B2. It appears to have been self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. We have been we have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limited databanks. Okay, interesting. Uh, system, so that was the Orem system. That is totally fine. Can keep moving. It's fine there. That planet is not very habitable. Uh, this one is surveying the Hamari, whatever. And how is this starbase coming along? 70%. Construction complete. Okay, so I'm getting really close to my administrative limit here. So I'm going to have to look at that pretty soon. But for now, I'm just going to keep building out these systems. Get a mine going there, research station there. What else? Anything? It's only those two. And then with the other two, I'll go ahead and move them into position, even though it's still going to be a while. Okay, all good. Galactic community. As more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. To avoid tragic misunderstandings between nations, an increasing number of diplomats have called for the establ establishment of a new pan-galactic organization, a community, if you will, where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss important matters. Should the United Nations of Earth pledge its support for the creation of the galactic community? Oh. Yes, absolutely. My Xeno Freedom Alliance people are gonna love that. Um, I wonder what that actually does, though. Like, does that enable me to do things? Probably. Oh, wow. I have met a lot of people. Oh, man. The Estragon do not like me at all. Yeah, I'm gonna, I just know I'm gonna go to war with them at some point. I'm equivalent with most of the other species, other than the Yaks, who are enigmatic observers, apparently. Yeah, I'm, I am gonna be going to war with the Estragon. That is crazy. They just really hate me. It's okay. I, th I really think I can handle that. I've never really been in a real war in this game yet. Uh, my energy credits are a bit... well, they're actually at zero, so I guess that's fine. Or the uh, the monthly gain is at zero, so I'm, I'm in stasis, basically. Complete. 
what the heck? Construction complete. Oh my gosh, the Commonwealth of Man is spreading all the way up here. Don't like that at all. So Omegas is built out and both of these construction ships are now idle so they can move on down to Haneri. And I have both my science ships there. Co-surveying, surveying together, which is ideal. And all is well in the universe, or at least this galaxy of the universe. System survey complete. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's a nebula system. It's always interesting. It's too bad you can't, like, share your survey findings with other civs. That would be pretty useful. Because, like, both us and the Urzgoba are exploring all around here, but... And we're allies, but we can't, like, share that information. That would probably be too cheap, though. Anomaly found. Um, have an anomaly at Kergaros. Small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are un unable to determine its material composition. Yeah, research it. Uh, Hasele system. That's, that's a pretty decent one. Quite a few resources. Special project complete. Okay, mining drone work ethic. Oh, that was that research project there. The drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but ne nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, mining networks on Earth could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently, and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. The writing in this is like, it's not bad. It just like throws me off when I read it. The sentence structures are very, uh, very interesting. I wonder, is this company like British or something? Ah, they are Swedish. That, yeah, I, I kind of guessed they were gonna be some kind of European. Fascinating automata. Alien Mural. While conducting surface scans of Kergaros-1, science officer Christian Fazio and the crew of the UNS Fahrenheit discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log updated. Fascinating. And yes, let's. Uh, scientist is present, has, uh, okay, where is Kergaros, whoops, uh, the birth of the galactic community, this is a historic day, 
Several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including the United Nations of Earth, have announced the creation of the galactic community. This supranational organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. As one of its founding members, we can take pride in this milestone of galactic history. Great. Uh, so here's here's Cargaros one. I guess I'll go ahead and take this ship to research that project, and the other one can keep surveying. System survey complete. Where? An area is complete. All right, if you say so. I'm just right on the edge of my sprawl limit, but I'm just gonna keep rolling. It's not a. It's a soft. Is that called a soft cap? Basically, you can go above it. There's just a minor penalty for it. It's not a hard cap where you just can't build another starbase, which is another cool thing about this game. Like. In a lot of games, the the limits are like, it's kind of unrealistic to say you can only build 40 ships, you know? Like, of course, in the real world, like the US, for example, could build 40 aircraft car carriers if it wanted to. It's just that it would be super inefficient after a while. It wouldn't have the the resources to sustain 40 aircraft carriers. I don't think anyway. I think we only have like, what, 10? I'm kind of curious. Eleven. Eleven aircraft carriers. Which sounds like a lot to me, but... I mean, it's a lot when you consider the range of uh, the planes. Empire sprawl is a measure of the territorial expanse of your empire in the form of controlled systems, colonies, districts, and total population. Thank you. That is helpful. So I am now above my sprawl limit, and the following penalties are applied. My technology is more expensive, my adoption is more expensive, and my campaigns are more expensive. So I think that means I'm researching more slowly, basically, or at least that's one of the drawbacks um let's see if i have any blockers i can clear i do not ooh i should have gotten that sinkhole one cuz i have two right here i could clear Although this, this planet is still building out, so I'm thinking, um, housing and office space, do those not create administrative, research complete, oh, hold up, administrative jobs plus two, uh, Maybe I can only build them as a building? Okay, I got blue lasers, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go for shields. Shields are always good. The longer your ships last, the more shots they can get in. Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do about my Empire Sprawl right now. Unless I did want to try to delete one of my buildings and build a different one. I guess I could do that. 
Administrative offices, research labs, civilian industries. So they turn consumer goods into administrative capacity. Um, I think I could probably afford that on the... I think I could probably replace an alloy foundry with some administrative offices. I'm gonna do it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully my alloys won't tank. No, I just looked it up. It said 11. 11 aircraft carriers. Let me check the source. Wikipedia. Wikipedia is always right. Special project complete. Uh, science officer, blah, 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 partially translated the thing. Memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire and is in this region of the galaxy. Um, yeah, okay, amazing. Again, I'm not sure what those things are actually getting me. Um. Ooh, I gotta pay attention to my mandate here. When does it expire? When does my term expire? System survey. The victory screen lists certain Yeah, conditions. yeah, yeah, I know that. The yaks are way ahead of everyone. I am... I'm doing okay. I'm third for my first playthrough. I mean, it is on super easy, but still, it's not terrible. Uh, this is the Cargaro system, and that science ship is still rolling. This one needs orders, so I'll go ahead and go here. Whoops. I'll go here, and then there. Research complete. Two bags and a bingo of 1800 pounds. Wow, I feel like that's terminology. I should know what it means. I'm going to guess two bags are going to be the underwing fuel tanks, maybe? And the bingo is the ordinance itself? Two bags and a bingo. Or does the... No, hold up. The 18... Uh, two bags? Is that like... I don't know. I don't know what that's referring to. Is the bingo... It, does an F-18... I think an F-18 has a single underbelly. Um, fuel tank, now that I think about it. Um, mm -hmm. Hold up. No, no, no. They have, they have them on the wings. Oh, they could have all three, it looks like. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. Hold up, let me look up two bags and a bingo. Two bags and a bingo. Yeah, that's you can't even Google that and figure it out what it means, so I'm not going to be embarrassed that I have no idea what the heck that means. Uh, what is this? Oh, an anomaly. Yes, research that for sure. Anomaly found. Oh, two anomalies in one system. Go for it. This guy is complete, so I need to build out the system here. Do a little research.
Those two systems are going to get me really close to my research mandate. Hopefully that'll put me over. Fusion missiles, mi more mining station output, corvette build speed and cost. I'm going to go for the missiles. Like, I'm not going to be building any ships anytime soon because I'm at my naval capacity. But um, the stronger I can get those, the better. Let me just do a quick check. Yeah, equivalent armies. That's... I want to make sure I'm at least equivalent um, to the Estragon because I really, really, really think they're going to declare war on me like any day now. Alright, two bags implies two tanks under the wing. And bingo means the fuel weight at which you... Oh god. RTB. Uh, rapid... Triglyceride. Bingo. Real time bidding. And the, oh, return to base. I got gotcha. you. The way at which you can return to base. I don't know. I don't know lingo and jargon. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I don't know any military jargon in aviation. Pretty much. And even like commercial stuff, I'm I probably know like half. I know. I know I should play DCS World. But I got the Flight Sim 2020, and that's just I'm just gonna stick with that, I think. Yeah, I think it's not, and I, I hope they keep working on it because there's like a lot of like glaring shortcomings to um, twenty or flight sim. Um, like, it's kind of weird to me because like in the last one, like FSX, they had so many different planes. Okay, so like my like flight sim twenty twenty has a ton of planes, but it only has like what three jetliners, and it doesn't have a fighter jet. Like, I thought for sure it would at least have a fighter jet, you know? Because there's always been one. Like, um, there was an F-18 8 or 16. No, it, it must have been an 18 in FSX because there was a carrier, like, mission. Yeah. Hopefully, but that's the problem, though. It's in the works, but it's going to cost, like, $50. F-14, that's pretty cool. Although, honestly, it would be cool if they would bring in, like, F-35s, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I used to really like the F-4, just because I just think they look really cool. Yeah, F-15 Eagle. Dude, fighter jets are just really cool. Um, Weapons target ranged. Asteroid blah 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 is pockmarked with craters. Yeah, alright, so some aliens were using this asteroid as a target practice target. My scientist has become obdurate. Is having difficulty accepting new ideas? Okay. I don't know what that means. Stubborn. Oh, interesting. So she's basically gotten to a point where she's not going to gain experience very quickly anymore. But she could figure out Voidcraft much more quickly. That's interesting. What's her age, though? Doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Age 60. Yeah, so she's... She's aging out anyway. Did I ever play Ace Combat 7? No. I played Ace Combat 6. I beat the pants off that game. Uh, but that's like five years ago already. Um, 
but no, I never played 7. I enjoyed 6. I mean, it was a little bit like, I don't know, repetitive, I guess. Like, I, you know what, I shouldn't really say that, because of course it's repetitive. You're always flying a plane. You know, but they really, they did try to, like, vary it up with different, like, mission types and different, like, terrains and stuff. Um, I don't know. There's just something missing that, that I, it just always seemed like it was lacking something to me. Yeah, what did they do, what did they do in 7 that made it better than 6? Welcome to the Galactic Community. Oh. Here's Where the galactic diplomats community. from around the galaxy meet to decide galactic law by voting on resolutions. You can support proposed resolutions from the queue, which will add your diplomatic weight to its total support. The resolution with the most support in the queue will move onto the Senate floor once it is in session. There it will be voted on whether it should become galactic law. Okay, galactic community. Yeah, I, I never. The only one I've ever played was six. Complete. Um. Research complete. Construction complete. Let's see. Can build another research somewhere here. Where is it? No, oh, it's under construction. And this guy is exploring. Anomaly found. Yep, okay. Research that. Sorry, one sec. Let me, uh... Hmm. I don't remember if I had much of this, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Uh... 70%, I'll probably colonize this planet pretty shortly here. Let me see how this is going. Yep, they're exploring that. Good. Um, all of these construction ships have... Not all of them. All but one have no orders, so I need to... Move them here. And... Don't care. And Anomaly is being researched. Um, yeah, 6 was the only one I ever played. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to get into another one. I got so many other games I want to play, like this, obviously. And, um, I gotta get back to Batman before I feel like I have to restart it. Um, and then I got, I bought Kerbal. Yeah, you remember that? I played it, like, that one night, and then, um... Oh, awesome. So I fulfilled my mandate as leader. Perfect. Um, uh, I gotta play Kerbal at some point. I really want to play Kerbal because it looks, like, really interesting and, like, I don't know, it looks educational. And even though that's, like, nerdy or whatever, um, you know, I, I like to learn things and stuff. No, you're totally good. Yeah, I was gonna watch you after I finish this, but um, I will check it out. Hold up. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were live earlier. Wait, this is this looks so much like Ace Combat Six. Really, I'm in dangerous airspace. 
this. Oh, shit. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, well. Yeah, that looks a lot like six from what I remember. At f at forty three, I I must have missed the laser. Hold up. I gotcha. Oh, that laser. Yeah, I remember the the like very last mission of six was like that giant cannon thing. That was a, a really fun mission, actually. Oh shit! Yes, I am. Okay. Oh my. Yeah, that, that was a really fun game. Uh, what am I looking at here? Um, blah, 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 something. Center of an astro asteroid, valuable alloys. Great, wonderful. Ah, a new tradition. Uh, let's see, diplomacy. I was going for the Federation because uh, I wanted to get federated. Because I thought my my factions would like that. The Xeno Freedom Alliance in particular. So I'm gonna go for the Federation and uh, see what that does. Uh, but let me look at this galactic community. Buzzword standardization. Bureaucratic upkeep. Ooh. It goes up. So I think that would actually make my sprawl... Whoa! When did that happen? Oh my gosh. My sprawl went way, way down. Or rather, my capacity went way, way up. I actually don't know how I did that. Was that just the admin office at, on Earth? How did I do that? I would love to know how I did that. That must have been it. It doesn't really say how much it gives you. Well, regardless, that is pretty cool. I can expand to my heart's content now. Let's see how much more is left to go in here. Quite a few. Yeah, I've basically gone to, um, I've basically gone to a Monday, actually I usually get Sunday into, so like Sunday, Monday, um, Tuesday, Thursday schedule, like pretty consistently for like an hour every night, um, or like maybe 90 minutes. I actually need to call it a night pretty soon here, but, um... Honestly, I do not get many viewers. Like once in a while, somebody will um, will come in, but I don't have any consistent viewers. Yeah, 
yeah weekends weekend nights i never know what i'm doing half the time i drink a beer and fall asleep on the couch um and obviously wednesday is a sacred night and I'll, i would never violate the sacred night um so but i figure you know this is exactly what i would be doing anyway so um seems like i may as well just just do a stream now that I've got like my slobs and everything set up, it only takes me a few minutes to like get everything up and running. <laughs> yeah, play current games. No, I know. Uh, you think you have a way we can still stream, but not yank? Oh, oh, oh. You mean... You mean how whenever I watch a stream in Discord, it drops my audio? Or I, I can't speak anymore? it so so I can hear the discord but um but not them I yeah I'd be into it I mean yeah I think I think I could figure that out honestly um I just haven't cuz you know I don't know I feel like I feel like part of it is like whoops that's not what I meant to do. Like, I don't know. I did stream Halo a few times, but like... It is... I can't... Obviously, I'm not going to be able to moderate others. Um, and it just came... It became obvious that it just was not going to be a thing. But the, the other thing is like... I have my stream thing set to like totally wide open. Like G-rated. So, I don't... Like, I'm not even swearing in my own streams. Um, and, like, I, you know, if I'm going to be playing with the dudes, you know, I, I probably am going to want to go ahead and swear. So I, I don't really know that I want to, to, uh, to really put that on stream. Um, just make it my my evening of my weekly evening of indulgence i guess if that makes sense but yeah i totally agree like if i really wanted to try to get more viewers you're right you would have to just constantly ride the wave of like um um the newest games out there but i don't know i i struggle with that because i'm not doing this really to try to get lots of viewers like if it happened that would be pretty fun I think like like when I watch people on stream it seems like they're having a good time like when you have like a, a very lively chat going that looks like fun but on the other hand um, you know I don't know that I should be like it seems kind of stupid for for me to like modulate my own behavior to try to like target that kind of thing because I'm here to just like play a game and like have fun you know and relax at the end of the day so I don't know 
basically what I'm saying is I'm probably not going to try that hard. <laughs> Uh, the ready shield, this looks like crap because it makes my ship upkeep more expensive and all it gets me is a plus 10 naval capacity and some diplomatic weight, so I'm going to actually oppose that for sure. Uh, when does this actually... So basically it's just whatever you do, it's like time based. I don't really like this. Yeah, I, I get what this is doing, but I don't know that I want to do it because I don't really want to, I don't really want more bureaucracy. Let's see what Comfort the Fallen in is. The lowest among us is still one of us, and we should come together to assist them in their time of need. Unemployed workers have their hap unhappiness penalty reduced by 10, and my Diplomatic weight from tech goes down. Spiritualist ethics attraction goes up. Unity from jobs. I don't know. Seems okay to me. I'll go for that. Yeah, this buzzword thing. I just don't really know. So I'm just going to abstain. Oh boy. Oh, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. So basically, you're in this queue here, and we're just voting on what is going to actually make it to the Senate. And then once it's in the Senate, we'll either support or oppose or abstain. The resolution screen is the list of the currently enacted resolutions. You may propose a new resolution by selecting it from a resolution chain. Which will cost you influence. Hmm. Okay. So here's where Anomaly found. Here's where the influence comes into play. Where was that? Population, envoy, sprawl. Research, unity. Okay, that's my influence. Oh my gosh. My science ship disappeared and then reappeared okay extra dimensional space does that mean I found my first wormhole seemingly endless void half the crew are missing oh crap strange space indeed where was this WX12 where is that is that here Uh, what was that in here? It's probably in here somewhere. System survey complete. No, I don't know where that was. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this system has been surveyed, and I actually really like that one. That's got a lot of resources. So I'll try to get there. I wonder if I should head up that direction right now. Hmm, I don't know what to do around here. Let me hit up that one. And yeah. This is where I'm going to call it a night for I am tired and it is late. But let me just read this. Uh, the UNS Hubble's crew thought lost to the dimensional rift have reappeared. Great. 
they hailed us from aboard an unknown vessel, not entirely dissimilar to our own science ships. Okay. Hinges on their destruction? I'm not gonna kill them. They're fine, they just went through a wormhole. What the heck? Wow, all of these systems are in a nebula. Oh, I see how that works. Huh, interesting. Okay. Um, yes, the anomaly. I am researching it. So I'm going to pause so I don't get any other things that come up. What are my science ships doing here? Oh, oh, this is my other science ship. I gotcha. So it needs a leader. I'm actually going to keep it because that's kind of useful. Oh, whoa. The game just totally paused. I can recruit another scientist. And I will use it to explode some mo. Hold up, that's kind of a waste. I'll have her explore this system too. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. For real, that is where I'm gonna call it a night. My planets are looking good. My fleets are fine. I am equivalent in strength to the Estragon, who is probably my arch nemesis. Construction ships are here waiting in the Yerev Was system. Science ships are exploring there. Science ships are exploring up here. I'm kind of inclined to explore into maybe these four systems right here. And I'm inclined to take all of these, colonize that planet. And, um, oh yeah, I was going to look at this. Yeah, next time I should look through all of these resolutions and see if there's anything else I want to try to push through the Galactic Senate. Because that's probably going to be a useful thing to do. And yeah, that's it. All right, so I still don't know how to say your name, Karoy Writer. I'm just gonna call you Writer. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching and joining me in the chat, and uh, anyone else who watched. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and whether or not you enjoyed, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you.